Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a pretty cool menu that looks similar to this in Breakdance. So this was a website that I found in the Breakdance Facebook group. It is, the URL is foodful, F-O-O-D-F-U-L dot life. Uh, really cool website, pretty cool. Um, but I was pretty obsessed with this sidebar menu and I was brainstorming, you know, how, how do you make this? And so the quick answer is this is actually a pop-up and when you click on this button, which is an icon, it's going to trigger the pop-up and an animation that fades from the left out and then when you close, it'll fade back. So it's gonna be pretty simple to make. Um, I'm not gonna make it exactly like this. Uh, here's what I came up with. I tried remaking the site and then this is what mine looks like. So we're gonna make something somewhat similar to this. We'll customize it a little bit more. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get started by creating a new page in Breakdance. And we're just gonna call this, um, let's call this slider out. Um, and let's publish this page. Okay, so now in here, we'll go in and edit, and we really just need kind of like a, a menu bar that's gonna trigger that to open. And so what I'm gonna start by doing is I will just add a menu builder that looks like this, and when someone clicks on home, let me center this real quick. Um, when someone clicks on home, that's gonna trigger the menu, but again, do this however you want. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna call this uh, menu. Uh, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this uh, settings bar, and we're gonna make this an action. And so we're not gonna be able to do it yet because we don't have the pop-up set yet, but yeah, we're gonna come back to this. So let's go ahead and save the page and head back into the admin panel. So if we go into breakdowns into pop-ups, we're gonna call this, it's called food menu, let's call it a uh, slider menu. We're gonna apply this pop-up everywhere. We don't need to add any conditions or any triggers because it's only gonna be based on when a user clicks that button on the homepage. Um, we're not going to limit anything, but go ahead and add this. Once it's added, we're going to go and edit and breakdance. And the first thing that you're going to do, the most important thing, is add a pop-up to your screen. So pop-ups look like this, which definitely looks a little different than what we did before. So immediately, we're going to go into the pop-up settings and go into, uh, it is actually in padding. Okay, so set the padding to zero because... Uh, well, actually, we're not. We're gonna set the padding to one. I apologize for that. One rem. Apply that everywhere, and now go into the size tab. So we want this to stretch a certain amount on the user's screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a set pixel amount of about 480. Again, this is still not perfect because we need to change the height to 100% to stretch up the whole part of the screen, um, and that's pretty much it here. Now change the position to be left aligned. So now we have it like this and you kind of already have the basic slider made. Um, sorry about that, let me, let me close this real quick. Okay, so once you are in the pop-up, we can go and close this, go to overlay. So we do want the screen to darken, but this is way too dark. I'm thinking more something like this maybe um, when it comes up, and then we'll go back into the close button, or not back into, and I'm gonna set this background to be clear. We are going to get rid of this, and we're just going to change the icon to be a little darker. And I like this icon as it is. You can also click out to get rid of the pop-up, so I'm not really gonna to touch any of this now. And we're gonna do two things in here. We'll add a heading, and we'll call this um, Gold Penguin, or call this whatever you want your, your title to be. I'm gonna shift this tab, change a few things. I do like the color, but this font size is a little too big. I think this is, this is probably about better. And now we need to figure out how to add the elements of what we want on the menu here. So Breakdance currently doesn't have, at the time of recording this, a menu that I can add that's going to fit uh, vertically in here, which is kind of annoying, but there's two ways of getting around this. The first one is going to be by adding an icon list, which is like this, and long story short, we will update the, the text, remove the icons, and then hyperlink all of these. So that, that will work if we want to do that. But unfortunately, um, we can't add any separators, and if we go back here, we can see that there's these little separators that look really nice on this page. So we are going to be doing this a little bit inefficiently, I would say, uh, is how we'll do this, but it will look good. It's just not going to be pretty to do. So we're going to start by adding a fancy divider to your page, and that is going to separate this content from here to here. Um, bear with me, I'm just going to add some, some padding on the bottom of this. And I'm gonna take this fancy divider, I'm not gonna click any of these right now, but we're gonna go into the styling divider and make it a solid line. 
We are also going to change the pattern and change the color to be really, really light gray. Because if you see when we click out, we want it to be kind of like subtle, but nothing too crazy. Um, I would also recommend changing this text because this obviously doesn't look good. Um, if, if you were doing this for real, I would add a logo instead of this, but uh, that's kind of ugly. That's also ugly. I'm just going to pick a random one and let's just hope for the best. Uh, okay, these are all pretty bad. Okay, whatever. Go Penguin. We're going to keep it like this. So this is going to be the divider that we have separating all of our content. And then we're going to add a text wrapper or text link. I'm sorry. And this is going to be called the page. So call it whatever you want, home, link it to wherever you want to link it to. And then we're going to change some styles by going into typography, change the color to be whatever you want. I'm going to do more of like, uh, I guess maybe more of like a purplish red thing. Um, I guess that we could do that. Uh, I don't like this underline. It does not look natural. So we are going to go ahead, change this to one to no 1.5. We'll do 1.1.4 1. 1. rem. Um, and then inside advanced decoration, we're going to get rid of this underline. I know this is kind of insane that you have to do, you know, 500 different things to get here, but, um, yeah, we'll do that. And then now I'd say all we need to do is add a little bit of padding to this text, which we can do in the container, if that's a thing. Um, okay. This is kind of crazy. Uh, okay, so we will not be doing that. We will just be adding a margin at the top and the bottom of this text uh, equal to about one rem on both sides, and that'll give it its little divide like that. If you hover over it, you could see that it's going to go somewhere. And then all we have to do is rinse and repeat and just copy both of these and just do this to as many links as you want to. If you want to add another divider at the end, kind of like this, um, <clears throat> Feel free to. I'm not going to though. So I'm going to say we have home and then we are going to add services and then we are going to add contact. And just like that, it is pretty good to go. We can save this and now let's pull up the slider menu, which is going to look, ooh, this is actually the pop up. Okay, we're going to head back into that original page that we were in in the first place. Go ahead and edit this page in Breakdance. And now we need to add the action to this page. So I'm going to delete these other menu bar options because we don't need them uh, and just head into the menu link, change the action to be a pop up and then change that pop up to be called slider menu. And we are going to just toggle this to open, save that. And we can now head into this page, which is going to look a little weird. When we open it, there should be no animation. So it's going to look pretty ugly. Um, I also hate this, this font, but I'm not going to, I hate all of these fonts, but um, that's not really something of that much importance. We're just going to talk about how to get it working. So now that we have that done, the last thing to do is really just to add the opening animation and closing animation. And then we should be pretty good to go. We'll make sure everything looks good on mobile and we'll be good. So head back into this menu and the pop-up actually has a really, really uh, easy way of doing this in animation. We can add an entrance animation, which will be a fade. Uh, will not be a fade, it will actually be slide right because we're going to slide it in like this. I'm going to keep this going the same because I don't really care to change anything. And then the exit will also be a slide, but we're going to do slide left. So it's going to fade in, fade out, save it. Let's go back here and refresh. And just like that, when you click it, it opens. You can close it up here. You can open it here. You can close it anywhere. And it's going to be working. So yeah, we could go ahead and check this out on mobile when you do this. And you click on this again that kind of looks weird because this should not be a menu it should just be like a link that you have up here um, but assuming that this was fixed you click on this and boom here's your menu but yeah so just like that in a couple minutes we added a beautiful sidebar pop-up in breakdance um, you could add your logo at the bottom but yeah if you do this please change the font because this is miserable but <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it if you enjoyed please leave a like it really helps um, leave a comment if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching